time. Story, story, story time. Let's read it story time. Story, story, story time. I'm geek the story time. Story, story, story time. You and me, it's story time. Story, story, story time. Well, let's achieve. Hello, everyone. And welcome to story time with me, Kayla. How are you all doing on this beautiful sunny Sunday? I hope you are doing well. And of course, as always, please making sure to please still stay safe. <laughs> now, today we have another special Arthur picture. Today, we will take a look at a book from Arthur Rita Reed. She is a wonderful Arthur who has created an entire book series called The Dogfish Tales, and each book represents a very important topic in today's society. And so, without further ado, the book we'll be reading tonight is called Brrr, da -da -da -da. Dogfish Stands Up to Bullying, written by Rita Reed. You ready to see what this book is all about? Ready, set, let's begin. Dogfish Stands Up to Bullying, written by Rita Reed and illustrated by Craig Cartwright. Here we go. You know, even though the official month for national bullying prevention is in October, that is completely okay because we still want to celebrate and honor that month all year round. We all have to do our part so we can put an end to bullying today. Don't you agree? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> a big shout out to Erin. Hey, and also a big hey and shout out to everyone of her friends and family watching. All right, you all ready to jump straight to it? Here we go. Let's begin. Swimming up the Amazon River, Dogfish wagged his tail with glee, excited to start his new school year at Rainforest Elementary. He arrived bright and early before class the first day, ready for new friends to laugh with, sing, and play. Ooh, starting the new school year is always so much fun. You have so many emotions, you're excited, nervous, so many things are happening. <laughs> While swinging on the playground, gleefully swaying up high, Dogfish heard a whimper that grew into a cry. Uh-oh. So Dogfish was hanging with his snail friend, and he heard something, a cry. He peeked around a corner, surprised when he saw a beautiful pink dolphin curled into a tiny ball. Dolphin opened her eyes, tearful as she blinked. <laughs> I'm tired of being teased just because I'm pink. Oh, so usually when we see a dolphin, they're either like bluish or grayish. And this beautiful dolphin is pink. How cool is that? Anaconda is a bully. So mean and oh so rude. He makes fun of my color. He has a bad attitude. Let's go tell a teacher or a trusted adult. I'll help you with this problem, Dogfish said. Bully trouble can be very difficult. <gasps> mm -hmm. So there was so Anaconda has been making fun of her color, and you know what? She told her problem to Dogfish, and Dogfish said, "Let's go fix this problem. Let's go tell someone." I like that. Mrs. Wiggleworm took roll call as they all settled down. I heard there was trouble today on the playground. It's important for me to know if anyone needs help. Sometimes problems are too hard to handle all by ourselves. Bullies have more power if they think no one knows. Would someone like to share? How about you in the back row? Oh, that's true. They think they can control you. But as more people know, then more people be against them and then they won't have that power. The small, slimy snails slithered forward. We don't like being teased, they all peeked and squeaked. Andaconda is a big, mean snake. He's older and not very nice. He bullies us while we play. Oh. So wait, he's Andaconda is bullying someone because of their color, also their size. Hmm. 
He's not a good friend at all. The piranha swam forward. Yes, something must be done. Their feelings rose up in bubbles. Anaconda should be kind to everyone. He says we look mean because of our sharp teeth. We're just little omnivores. We don't eat meat, but we also love fruit, nuts, and seeds. We're doing our job in the river to keep things nice and clean. Oh, so they're not mean at all. They just have sharp teeth. Mrs. Wiggleworm smiled. I'm glad you're speaking up and using your words. We all have feelings that need to be heard. Absolutely. So always, always speak up for yourself. At lunchtime, they decided to ask Anaconda to apologize. But when they found him, they were quite surprised. What? What did they find? Oh my goodness. Anaconda was being bullied by Big Alligator, who was twice his size. I can't help it if I hiss, Anaconda cried. It's hard for me to say things right. Oh, he has been bullying everyone, and someone is bullying him. How do you think that's making him feel now? Hmm. Friends joined together in one voice. Please stop being mean and make a better choice. Ooh, stop, think, act. Big Alligator walked away. Together, they were strong on that very first day. Ooh, they came together. Mr. Catfish was visiting today. He was a wise and gentle soul. He gurgled and purred. Let's talk about words and how they make you feel inside. Words can make us happy, but can also make us cry. If someone makes you mad, count to ten and take a rest. Then you can share your feelings with the words you think are best. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when we're upset or angry about something, we just may just say the first thing that comes out of our mouths. But it's always good to stop, think, and act. So stop, count to 10, think about it, and then react how you choose. <laughs> and the kind of slowly slithered to the front of the class. I'm so sorry. I was bullying you because it was done to me. Today, you've all helped me learn to use kind words and stop being mean. Mm -hmm. He realized, he realized he was wrong, but he still apologized. And I really think he meant it too. He means his apology. Suddenly, Anaconda became brighter. His green began to shine. Look at him. Everyone smiled wide. Ah, look how happy everyone is. No one's getting mistreated or bullied. I love it. Everyone's so happy. Stand up for others. Think about your words. Respect and include everyone. Stick with your friends. Talk about your feelings. Tell a trusted adult. It's easy to spread kindness by what we say and do. Respect one another. It all starts with you. Yes, it does. Uh, this world could go around so much better if we just all choose kindness. <laughs> and here's a little map of where Dogfish is from. And all the way, he traveled all the way to the um, Amazon River. <laughs> and also here's a little bit more about the Arthur and Illustrator. Wonderful, wonderful book. The end. Yes, K Crew. Wasn't that such a wonderful story? And you know what? Always remember if you're being bullied, say something. If you see someone else getting bullied, say something. Now, I hope you enjoyed reading this book as much as I did. To find your copy and to check out her other books, Make sure to head on over to her website, and you can also find these books on Amazon. And of course, be sure to follow on social media. 
A big thank you to Rita Reed for my copy, and I cannot wait to read more from you very, very soon. A big shout out to all her friends and family. Hey, everyone watching. And K-Crew, I want to thank you as well, but it's time to sing goodbye. Are you ready? Here we go. Goodbye, 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 my friends, goodbye to you. I hope to see you again real soon. Be proud of all you with tonight. Now climb to bed and sleep real tight. On the count of three, let's say goodnight. One, two, three, good